Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you're familiar with drones, then I'm sure you've already heard of Dajiang Innovations, more commonly known as DJI. After all, their drone products account for more than half of the market. And if you've been paying attention, then you've probably also already heard of the very popular DJI Mavic Air 2. Today, we're going to take a look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set, including a closer look at its specs. All right, first off, let's take the drone and its controller out of this shoulder bag that comes with the Fly More Combo. So here comes the Mavic drone. I'll just lay that down here. Here is the remote control. Okay, first off, the camera. Now, the Mavic Air 2 comes equipped with a half-inch CMOS sensor. It captures impressive 48 MP photos and records 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. Oh, if you're new to HDR, that means each captured frame has different exposure levels in different areas, accurately capturing all of the light and dark details of a subject and settings with a high dynamic range. The captured images are then automatically layered up, combining images from a wide dynamic range to form a clear and precise finished picture. The Mavic Air 2 has impressive HDR video capabilities that are one of its major highlights, made possible by its high-performance quad buyer image sensor. The Mavic Air 2 also offers DJI's advanced panorama mode with a higher dynamic range as well as colors that are vivid and incredibly accurate. So all that footage comes out smoothly thanks to its three-axis camera gimbal. The OcuSync 2.0 system ensures stable video transmission up to 6.2 miles, delivering a 1080p 30 frames per second live stream straight from the drone's camera. Video capture is made almost effortless thanks to the Focus Track feature. Focus Track is a collection of intelligent tracking modes, including Active Track 3.0 which will allow the drone to track and follow its subject while also avoiding obstacles smoothly. Spotlight 2.0 will keep the subject in the center of the camera and Point of Interest 3.0, which will allow the drone to circle a subject as its center point. These features allow you to automate the tricky stuff and focus on your storytelling and composition instead. All you have to do is always keep your eyes on the drone for safety. The Mavic Air 2 also supports hyperlapse in 8K, which will let you warp time and space for some pretty amazing results without any time-consuming post-processing work. Select your mode from free mode, circle, course lock, and waypoint. Then select the shooting location and the DJI Fly app will do the rest for you. The DJI Fly app also integrates the editing suite experience DJI users will know from the DJI Mimo app. Here, you'll have access to a range of adjustable manual settings, some advanced functions, and quick and easy templates to shoot creative and professional-looking compositions in mere seconds. So, how does the drone actually fly? The Air 2 has a maximum flight speed of up to 42 miles per hour in sport mode and perceives its environment in three different directions, forward, backward, and downward. It has an auxiliary light, which improves visibility in low-light settings, and obstacle avoidance to help ensure a safer flight. Obstacle avoidance performance and automatic flight planning on the Air 2 are better than ever. The Advanced Pilot Assistance System 3.0 utilizes an advanced mapping technology for smooth following and reliable obstacle avoidance in complex scenarios. The newly designed remote controller features an ergonomic design for a great grip feel and boasts its own battery life of 240 minutes. There's also a handy clamp on top of the remote controller so that you can easily attach your smartphone running the DJI Fly app. Finally, why upgrade to the Fly More combo? Well, let's look at all the extras that it comes with. First off, two extra batteries, each with an approximate life of 34 minutes. It also comes with this new battery charging hub and ND filters. This ND filter set has three different filters for 16, 64, and 256, handy for adjusting shutter speed and recording in extreme lighting conditions. Also included in the set, your standard drone set will come with some extra propellers, but the Fly More combo comes with a bunch of extras. That's one, two, three, four, five, six more propellers there. So you can swap those out. Those are, of course, low noise propellers 
to swap out just in case. It also comes with this, a handy shoulder bag to carry the drone itself and all these accessories together. So the fly more combo, all these extras making flying easier and more enjoyable than ever. So that's our look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set now available at newegg.com. It's a standout offering from DJI's great line of camera drones. Check out the product link below and head over to newegg.com to find deals on laptops, hardware, and other accessories. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. A big part of producing attractive looking video in today's run and gun shooting style is avoiding camera shake and maintaining a nice smooth image. This look can be achieved by using a gimbal. That's a device with motors and sensors that allows your camera to rotate along an axis and will compensate for any unwanted camera shake. A gimbal will keep your camera stable while you tilt it and pan it side to side giving you that fluid and floating feeling that traditionally required some much bigger hardware like a Steadicam to achieve. So with all that in mind, today we'll take a look, a closer look, at one of DJI's popular gimbal entries. This is the DJI OM4 Stabilizer. First up, let's set the scene for this product line. Back in 2019, DJI released the Osmo Mobile 3, that's the OM3 stabilizer, which along with good overall quality, introduced a nice foldable feature that allowed it to be very compact, light, and portable. The latest 2020 launched DJI OM4 looks and feels similar and shares all of the om 3 strengths, including its foldable design. Of course, it still offers great image stabilization too. Even after adding an external lens, the DJI OM4's powerful 3-axis motor will keep your smartphone steady and your video smooth. Okay, let's have a look at what's inside the box. So the first thing we see actually when we open this up, it says create magnetic moments. More on that in just a minute. So this comes with, okay, that is the magnetic key ring. We'll get to that. Here's the actual stabilizer itself. And you can see it's folded up nicely. Okay. And this actually comes with a tripod. Uh, the OM3 did not come stock equipped with the tripod, so that's cool. What really sets the OM4 apart from its predecessor, the OM3, is the addition of a new key feature. That's the magnetic mount on the gimbal arm. If you've ever used this kind of camera stabilizer before, you know that before you can shoot anything with it, you need to calibrate it and balance your phone or camera. It takes a bit of time for the gimbal to find the right settings for the weight of your phone and will make its calculations using its app. The problem is every time you take your phone off of the gimbal to check your footage or make adjustments, you traditionally then need to recalibrate it and spend time repeating this process. Now the magnetic quick release design of the phone clamp and the magnetic ring holder solve this by ensuring that when you reattach your phone to the gimbal, it will be reattached in exactly the same position and work with the previous calibration settings. So let me show you what that means. First of all, if we look at the magnetic clamp. This looks very similar to the OM3, right? But this actually comes off and will allow you to clamp it onto your phone. So the magnetic quick release design of the phone clamp and the magnetic ring holder both ensure that when you reattach your phone to the gimbal, it will be reattached in exactly the same position. So first, let's have a look at the magnetic clamp. I've actually attached this onto the back of my smartphone very easily. It just grabs on. I put it just about in the center. So imagine this has already been calibrated. I take my phone off, I play with it, I make adjustments, and I want to put it back on. All I need to do is line this up, like so and it has reattached in exactly the same position, meaning I won't need to recalibrate it. That's pretty convenient. We actually don't need to use the clamp because there's another feature. I mentioned the key ring, and I'll show you what that means. So let's take the clamp off. Now, if you can have a look at this little thing, this is the magnetic key ring that DJI has added to this OM4 update. So this comes with, not sure if you can see that, but these are specifications for how to attach it to stick it onto the back of your smartphone and make sure it is dead in the center. So what you can do here, this has 
a sticky back side and you can actually stick that onto the back of your smartphone where it will stay forever. And from there, you won't need to use the clamp. You can actually directly attach your phone to your stabilizer and the OM4 will once again remember your calibration settings. So if you're the type of person like a vlogger who is going around and shooting a lot of run and gun fast action videos, this is really actually a handy feature. Now you may not want to have this metallic key ring stuck on the back of your daily use or work phone, but if you do have a phone that's dedicated to vlogging, this actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we've talked about the clamp, we talked about the magnetic key ring holder. It makes things just faster, so you're not gonna miss any key moments when you're out shooting. Now, I wanna point this out. This is super lightweight, but it does have a really tight grip. It's going to ensure that your phone stays securely fastened to the stabilizer. That's not gonna fall off. And as I just mentioned, you can attach this magnetic ring holder right to the back of your phone. And it also doubles as a kickstand. You see this actually folds out and you can use it to stand up your phone as well. That's a pretty cool additional feature. So this whole thing makes the process of going out and shooting all the more faster, meaning again, you won't have to recalibrate. Now in terms of the smartphone weight that the OM4 can carry, it can handle even the larger smartphones on the market upwards of 290 grams in size. Getting into the software and settings, it's all run through the DJI MIMO app. If you're a DJI user, you'll be pretty familiar with this already. You'll have some options to edit on the app as well. While it's not the best app in the world, they're making steady improvements to it with each version getting a little bit better and it definitely does the job. So in terms of other features looking at software, ActiveTrack 3.0 makes tracking your shooting subjects easier than ever. This 3.0 version recognizes adults, children, and even pets with higher accuracy and you can also fine tune your image composition by using the joystick. You can also choose story mode for access to some quick and easy pre-made creative templates to pull off cool shot ideas right out of the box. This includes the Hitchcock effect and DynaZoom, which creates a kind of push and pull zoom effect. While I'm not personally a big fan of these effects in my videos, the stabilizer does recreate them reasonably well and it's something you'll probably want to try out. There's also the clone me feature, which allows you to shoot, pause, and reposition yourself in the frame to stage a conversation with yourself or play your own evil twin in your next video. Finally, selfies, group photos, and shooting videos can all be done hands-free. Just attach the tripod, jump into your app. You'll be able to remotely control the OM4 stabilizer with just a gesture, making it a great tool for the one person production team. So before we sign off on the OM4, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, what are really the differences between this and the OM3? The OM3 is more affordable. Maybe you already have it. Is it worth an upgrade? Let's do a head to head unboxing to show you once again, what the differences are. And to be honest, there aren't many. We have an OM3 right here. I'll break it out of the box. Comes with this. I love this case. Okay, so this is the classic, the OM3, a great stabilizer in its own right. Key differences, well, I mean, body-wise, they're almost exactly the same. Different colors, of course. We've got kind of the light gray versus the dark gray here. Now, this has a fixed holder, okay? I think that's really the main difference, the fixed holder here. But if you're someone who really wants to save time when you're out shooting, we mentioned the need to recalibrate with a fixed holder. You don't need to do that with the magnetic clamp or the magnetic ring. So that's really the key difference here. Now, if you buy the OM3 in a combo pack, it also comes with a tripod. Of course, the OM4, same deal, comes with the tripod in the combo pack as well. In terms of the app functionality with these stabilizers, it's exactly the same. It's the DJI MIMO app. So it has gesture control, active track three, hyperlapse, panorama, slow motion, and so on. The appearance virtually identical. The app is identical, so it really just comes down to, do you think this magnetic feature is worth the money? 
That's up to you. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments down below. So whether you're a full-time vlogger or just a hobbyist, a compact and reliable gimbal is a great tool to have. For more on this, check out the product link down below. And if you're interested in keyboards, laptops, gaming accessories, and other gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you're rummaging around the internet for a universal docking station that supports dual displays, please look no further. The solution to all of your problems, right here. The Wavelink USB-C Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station. That's right, I said 5K. Let's open the box. Okay, so this is everything you get in the box. You get a quick start guide, information cards okay one dc 20 volt certified power adapter one usb a to c cable one usb c to c cable <laughs> and the usb c ultra 5k universal docking station itself all right it is fully compatible with USB Type-C, Type-A, and Thunderbolt 3 laptops and desktops. That means it is fit for the future. This is the latest technology. That means you're gonna get more mileage for your money. All right, that's always very important. A lot of universal hubs out there aren't so universal anymore. All right, some only support up to USB 3.0. This is compatible on computers with USB-C and Thunderbolt 3, all right? They've included the USB-C and USB-A to C cables. So let's take a closer look here. Nice compact design. It's gonna look pretty professional on your desk. All right, on the front, you'll see four super speed USB 3.0 ports, getting you up to five gigabits per second transfer speed, as well as headphone and mic jacks. Really maximize the performance capability of your machine. Of course, these ports are still backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and 1.1 devices and you're good to go with, with hot swapping. Almost said hot swapping. Good to go with hot swapping. So plug in your keyboard, mouse, optical drive, USB, foot massager, you name it, unplug and plug back in at will, no problem. On the back, two more super speed USB 3.0 ports. That means six USB 3.0 ports in total. One USB-C in port. You got your gigabit ethernet jack right here and some display ports, all right? Let's talk about the display. This supports up to 5K display. Output up to 5120 by 2880 at 60 Hertz. How about that? How do we get the 5K, you ask? Well, they uh, have it broken down here on a little diagram. All right, so when you use the dual display ports, you have two uh, dual display ports. If you use them simultaneously, with a 5K monitor, that's how you're gonna get the 5K. All right, the Wavelink Ultra 5K docking station also supports dual 4K display. You can achieve this in three different ways. You can use two 4K HDMI video, or two 4K display ports, or one of each. You could use one 4K HDMI and one 4K display port. 4K output will be up to 4096 by 2160, at 60 hertz. And again, you get the 5K by using both display ports simultaneously. Wavelink offers you a lot of flexibility with this device. It supports USB to display. You get distinct mode, extended mode, mirrored mode, primary display, obviously. You can extend left, right, above or below, or rotate 90, 180, or 270 degrees. So this is gonna accommodate anyone who has two monitors literally for any reason. Gaming, architecture, doctor's office, stock market, day traders, all right, you're all gonna love this. And compatibility is very wide ranging. You can use this with any Windows XP 7, 8, or 10 machine. You can also use this with Mac OS 10.6 and onwards, Mac OS 10.13.4 to 10.13.6 has single extended display support with AirPlay. No support on Linux or Unix uh, or ARM-based Windows operating systems like Surface RT, for example. Uh, also, the docking station does not support 
power delivery function, all right? But you will get to use up to six USB 3.0 devices simultaneously, all good for hot swapping. You got your ethernet connection, headphone and mic jack. You'll get either dual 4K display or a single 5K display. You get multiple viewing modes, distinct, extended, mirrored, etc. My dear eggheads, the Wavelink Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station. Please let us know what you think of this product in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you've got a dual monitor setup, this video is for you. If you've got a dual monitor setup and you're tired of all the space it takes up on your desk, this video is definitely for you. We're taking a look at the almighty Huanhua dual arm monitor stand. All right, and I already have it all set up right here. Before I speak any further, let's get compatibility out of the way. All right, the Huanhua dual arm monitor stand is a pretty universal mount. It's gonna fit two 13 to 27 inch monitors with VESA mounting patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter. It'll securely hold two monitors, each weighing between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds. All right, check your specs. The monitor stand will not work on glass or particle board tables, all right? So if you're on a glass or particle board table, you'll just have to buy a new table along with the Huanhua dual monitor stand. The monitor stand can be fixed via C-clamp, all right, fitting desks with a thickness up to 3.26 inches, and it can also be mounted through a grommet mounting hole in the desk. The grommet mounting fits desks with thickness up to 3.4 inches, all right? So you mount the stand according to your needs. Just check the specs of your monitors and tables. So, if your monitors and tables are a good match, let's keep exploring this fine product. All right, so this is very cool. The dual monitor stand works via gas spring. It comes with two gas spring arms that you can easily adjust to get a better posture, relieving strain on your neck, back, and shoulders. Both arms are directly mounted onto the desk, creating greater stability, and adjusting one arm will not move or affect the other arm meaning adjusting one monitor will not move or affect the other monitor. See, I can move or adjust my left monitor, the right one stays in place, or if I need to adjust the right one, the left one stays in place. Very, very convenient. And just look how much space I freed up from my desk. So instead of putting two monitors directly onto your desktop, this dual monitor stand holds both monitors above the desk at eye level with adjustable arms you also get full range of motion adjustment. All right, so these dual arms can both be swiveled 360 degrees and the VESA plates rotate 360 degrees, swivel 180 degrees and tilt from plus 45 to plus 90. Check this out. Okay, so adjusting to 45, back up to 90. I can move this around I can have a monitor like this. I can continue to move it around. Okay, so a full 360 degree rotation. I'm gonna bring that back, check this out. So, you know, it, this is just an added bonus. All right, you can place both monitors in portrait or landscape positions and they don't have to be the same. So if you're a visual artist, photo editor, gamer, streamer, composer, stock trader, or if you just want an elite movie setup, all variations of display requirements are possible here. All right, so depending on the weight and size of your monitors, you'll have to use the tools provided to counterbalance the weight using the gas spring adjustment. The arms are adjusted by Huanhua's secure gas spring mechanism. To adjust the tension in your monitor, you'll simply come over here, use the tool, and you'll turn clockwise to reduce gas spring tension for lighter monitors and turn counterclockwise to increase tension for heavier monitors. And once you find the right balance, the monitors will remain level in place. If you don't balance it right, the monitor might swing upward or downward. So you will indeed have to spend a few minutes finding that perfect balance, and you definitely wanna spend the necessary time possible for that. 
Uh, also included is are the cable management chassis. I don't know if you can see that from here, right here. The cable management chassis, this is awesome. All right, these arms attached here, keep your cables, right? Keep your cables neat and organized so you can say goodbye to messy and tangly wires. I, I think they've really thought of everything. So when it's all said and done, you're going to have a perfectly balanced dual monitor system, right? That's easy to adjust to different programming needs. And that's basically it, eggheads. With this dual arm monitor stand, achieve perfect harmony with your displays. All right, twist and turn between landscape and portrait. Right, you can stack them on top of each other even. Enjoy a tangle-free open space desk. Again, just so long as your desk is not glass or particle board and your monitors have VESA mounting patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter and between 4.4 or 14.3 pounds. <laughs> they do not have to be the same weight or size, by the way. Okay, your monitors don't have to be exactly the same. Mine here are, but yours do not have to be. Uh, they just have to be between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds and 13 to 27 inches. I love products that make workstations more accessible and manageable and sleek. This one gets five stars from me. Let us know what you think in the comments and reviews. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. The Huanhua Dual Arm Monitor Stand. My dear eggheads, this has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Nowadays, 3D printer technology is very popular. Many people can easily experience the design, print, and do-it-yourself fun of 3D printing. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to New Egg Now. I highly recommend this Creal T Ender 3 3D printer, especially if you're new to the 3D printing world. This is an open source 3D printer with amazing printing precision and it comes at an affordable price. It's quite possibly the best 3D printer for beginners. It comes very neatly packaged with a simple 12 step assembly. If you've assembled a 3D printer before, you will find this assembly very easy. If you're a beginner, however, you might need uh, about 30 minutes to complete the setup. The assembly tools are included and this is what you end up with. You can have a look at it here when you're done. So let's take a closer look. First of all, welcome to the future. This thing looks pretty cool. And with this in your hands, you're really playing with cutting edge technology. So let's have a look at the build plate. This build plate is 8.7 inches by 8.7 inches and you can print 3D models on this that are about 9.8 inches tall. So you can build some pretty large and complex models. We've already been putting it to use here you have a dragon headed keycap that one of our team members has made. There's this maze thing. And also we have a partially completed model of a 3D dog. And we'll get to that in a moment. There's also a special build surface on the plate itself. This is going to provide protection to your printer build plate and ensure a nice consistent temperature throughout the build surface. It also makes it easy to remove the printed models after cooling. It has a non-stick finish to it. Now, let's look at this structure. The V-shape with these three wheels here are going to make the extruder movement very, very precise, silent, and most of all, smooth. Improved POM triangle slot wheels quietly guide the moving parts along the aluminum extrusion frame. These wheels are made of engineering thermoplastic, which is rated for use in precision parts requiring high stiffness, low friction, and excellent dimensional stability. The MK8 extruder over here greatly reduces plugging risk and bad extrusions and makes the Creality Ender 3 the best printer out there for beginners and a great option even for the pros. The Ender 3 Pro is OSHS certified, that's open source hardware certified. All hardware, CAD files, board schematics, and firmware files are available and updatable on Creality's GitHub page. You can also find other premium 3D printable models at Thingiverse and My Mini Factory, or even design your own model to print. So you're not alone. You've got this whole community creating things together, and that's just really part of the fun. So all you need to do is find a CAD file, a model file, put it into a micro SD card, also known as a TF card, and pop it into the micro SD card slot and you're good to go. I'm super impressed with Creality's Ender 3 3D printer. It's simple, it's compact, it has incredible stable performance. Let me start it up and show you how it actually works. 
The hotbed here can reach 110 degrees Celsius in about five minutes, so that's really fast heating. It also has resume print technology that lets you resume exactly where the extruder stopped in the event of a power outage. As for the power supply, the Ender 3 boasts a high quality safety oriented component which was hand selected for its reliability. The volt switch will allow you to meet different voltage needs. Here you have two options between 115 volts and 230 volts which you can adjust with a screwdriver. Below the plate, we have four large adjustable knobs allowing for precision bed leveling. And to home it, you just use the steppers and a piece of printer paper. You can put a piece of white A4 paper right here, and that's going to orient the nozzle distance. This is very important for your first printing. So I'm going to start this up and show you how this works. Now, as soon as I turn it on, you can see the menu panel lights up in this nice blue color. And we're just going to turn this knob to make our selections and press down on the knob to select something in the menu. So to get started printing something, we're going to go down to print from TF. We'll click into that. And then whatever files you've loaded up on your TF card are now available. You click one, it starts printing. It's that simple. So one thing worth noting is it's pretty quiet. There's a gentle humming and whirring going on here, but it's not gonna wake anyone else up in the house, which is good because this cat model we're printing is going to take about three and a half hours and it's something you might want to leave on in the other room while you go watch TV. Overall, this is a great machine, almost a piece of art. And with that, you should be ready to print away. Let us know what you think of the Ender 3 3D printer down in the comments below. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you in the next one. Hi guys, I'm Tom here for New Egg Now. So if you've bought a pretty badass PC and you think you deserve an equally badass case, then I would suggest taking a good look at the ES Gaming Magic Sword ATX Gaming Case. So we're gonna talk about a few things, the components, the compatibility, and of course, the performance. So this guy is already fresh out of the box and we've came with it, we've got some screws and we've got our manual. So if you're like me, you're probably immediately struck by these lovely glass panels, which are really the highlight of the whole piece. And through these, of course, you can see the RGB lighting on the fan there and your components. But don't worry, this glass is tempered, so it still protects everything inside. So speaking of lighting, you can't have missed, but this case is equipped with one double ring RGB case fan, which is capable of 10 different light modes. Easy enough, you just control it with the top LED button here. So on our IO panel, we've got our uh, LED button we just mentioned. We've got our reset button, our USB 3.0, our two USB 2.0, our HD audio and our power button. Of course, something you have to consider with any case is dust resistance. But don't worry though, we've got these two side mesh vents on the front, which create this great airflow without allowing any dust in. And speaking of dust, you've also got this magnetic dust filter at the top, which makes the case easy to clean. All right, so compatibility. Will this thing work for your thing? Well, let's check this out. It's equipped with seven expansion slots at the back, and we have two internal 3.5 drive bays and two internal 2.5 drive bays. It supports ITX, ATX, and micro ATX motherboard. The maximum GPU card length is 305 millimeters. The maximum CPU cooler height is 160 millimeters, and PSU support goes up to 180 millimeters. Slightly shockingly at this price, the case actually does come with some cool extras. So it comes with a pre-installed 120 millimeter fan in the rear, although if that's not enough, it even supports three additional 120 millimeter fans in the front and two 120 millimeter fans on the top and one 240 millimeter radiator in the front. So guys, the ES Gaming Magic Sword ATX gaming case truly is a stylish badass with some premium features in the lighting and the design departments. Well, if you want some more information, please check the link below. And if you've already got one of these guys, I'd love to see your setup as well. Well, I'm Tom from Newegg Now, and I'll see you next time.